How you guys doing? Well, today is a soul searching uh, video presentation. We're going to talk about do you have what it takes to start your own business? Some things you need to be aware of before you step in that world. And I'm going to cover that today. Uh, but first, I want to talk to you about uh, tell you a story about myself. When I was a young kid, I had uh, this was my first job selling programs at a university, a University of Berkeley. Uh, I was seven years old, and I found out at a young age that um, I wasn't old enough to work for any company, but I was old enough to work for myself, which was the results would be money I can give to my mom. And uh, at a young age, I found out not to try to sell, but to find out what people want and give them what they want at the time they want to purchase it. Uh, now, if you're working a regular job right now and you you see how much money you're making, you I'm sure when you go to work, uh, you, you look at your check and you say, man, I'm missing something here. All the taxes are coming out and I'm only making so much money and I, I need to support my family. Well, ask yourself this question. Uh, do you have what it takes to, to work for yourself? Okay. Do you have the right business opportunity that you can take to make money to work for yourself? Do you have to believe in your product and you have to believe in yourself? Okay. Because it's not going to be easy working for yourself. I got to tell you, um, some people just not cut out to work for themselves. And I'm sure you may have seen the stories of people trying uh, to work for themselves and then they give up because it, it became hard. Um, and yes, having your own business, if it's not fun, if it's something that you're not passionate about, you will want to quit. Okay. Your friends are going to, they're going to say, why are you doing that? Go, go work some more hours and get more money or get another job. Uh, you will be able to uh, possibly pay and just a, a little bit over what you need to pay on your bills. But you know, Inflation is going to still rise, right? And and if it rises, what you're going to do? Uh, you need to have the kind of a business that you're not selling. You need to have a business that you're helping people. And if you find something like that, you may have a winner. At the same time, if you find a company that has a service or product that not just here in the United States, but all around the world, okay. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, it's below here, you'll see the company we have chosen, okay, to basically, it's so easy, you don't have to sell it, you you present it because people want it, and remember I said, it's a time, you give them what they want, the time they need it, uh, so I'm, I'm going to say this to you, I'm going to ask you this one question, and just be honest with yourself, okay, would you like to save money on bills that you pay every month? I ask that question again. Would you like to save money on bills you pay every month? I'm sure you're going to say yes, right? And the reason why you're saying yes, because that's why you go to work. You go to work to make money to do what? To pay your surviving bills, the bills you have to pay every month. Okay. And if that's not enough, uh, when you look at your checks, especially at the end of the month, you find out that, man, I'm barely making it. Uh, Life is going to stay the same for you, okay? Now, do you have what it takes to change that? You do. All you have to do is make a decision. It's very simple. Make a decision to change your financial situation, okay? You notice I don't have a script. Uh, you see this behind me? This is a, one of my companies. Uh, I, saw, I found out what people need in every business. They need leads. So I have a lead company. I have one of the largest directories here in, in this area that I'm living, Spokane, Washington. So I have something people want and they need, right? It's not hard for me to give them what they want and they need. This company I'm telling you about, I want you to go down here, watch the video, and change your financial situation like, like that. Because they will say you bill money um, that you pay on your bills, especially your car insurance. Uh, you have your home insurance. There's a whole bunch of bills that you would like to save money on, and, and you'll see that down here. Uh, once again, I'm not selling this to you. I'm, I'm presenting it to you 
So you can take a very serious list, um, a very serious uh, direction to change your, your financial situation. Okay, I say direction because you need to go that direction, right? You keep going the direction you're going, you're gonna be like, have you ever drove down the street and 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 certain areas of town and you see there's homeless people out there. And guess what? Some of those homeless people are just like me and you. They used to work, okay? They got laid off from their jobs and they found out that they still need to have overhead and they still need to eat. And unfortunately, their life had taken a dive. I'm not saying that's gonna to happen to you. Are you are you guaranteed that their job will still be around a while, okay? And if it's not there, how much money you have saved up to what? To pay your bills you gotta pay. You need something that's gonna hold you. You need something behind you. This company I'm talking about, take a look at it. And I, and I truly can say, because of what I've learned over my past, I'm giving you some real good advice, but I can't do nothing about what I'm giving you uh, other than present it to you, but it's up to you to use it, okay? to take advantage of it. So once again, I keep pointing down here, there's a video to watch. And my friend, if you don't do it today, you won't do it, okay? Why? Because you have all these distractions, things around you, you find yourself, oh, I'm just too busy. Busy what, to change your financial future? Duh, <laughs> come out of that, okay? So I'm coming up on seven minutes here. I don't want to make this long. I just want to talk to you plainly and let you know how serious life is today. Okay. And if you're looking at supporting your family, it's bigger than you. Okay. I will tell you this the company I'm talking about, when you watch the videos, there's a lady, she was eight and a half months pregnant. Okay. Eight and a half months pregnant, uh, not too long ago. And you know what? In her first 10 days, she made over $7,000. It changed her life. I think she's hitting close to 20,000 a month now. She's just like you, just like many of us. She believed and it was possible. She made a change, okay? And it was, her reason was bigger than her. And she's not the only person. There's other people in, in the world, there's veterans. There's, there's people who never had their businesses before, never had a business and decide to come aboard and present this information to people and their lives are changing, okay? All right, so I wanna keep this short. You know, if you like the, what you hear, make sure you go down here, like the video, okay? Share it uh, with people you care about because it will save some families out there. A lot of husbands and wives are working long hours. They go to work at four o'clock in the morning, get home at 11 at night because they have two jobs. But what about the kids? Do the kids see their parents? You know, you lose time. You don't get that time back, people. You will lose your time with your children. Okay? To me, my children, everything. I want to tell you, I have raised 10 kids. They're not all with mine. I mean, my wife, we did foster care for 20 years. There's some kids that didn't want to leave. And we welcomed them. Our home was open, okay? And I'm going to tell you, I wouldn't take a, a billion dollars for any of them. Maybe a dollar for one. That girl gave me, no, I'll take that back. <laughs> she gave me a little problem, but guess what? That changed too for her. But, uh, but I want to make sure you understand the importance of your family, importance of you. It all starts with you. Don't look around, ask people who don't have money for advice. My goodness, who you? People ask the wrong people for advice, okay? What you need to do is surround yourself with people who are winners, people who have a, a track record, people who can take you and show you what they're doing. And I always say, do what I do, make what I make, okay? I've been marketing online and offline for over 30 some years and I have helped companies survive, okay, and grow. Now I'm known as a marketing analyst. I study the way successful companies market to the public and I'm gonna give you that knowledge.
Okay, I'm gonna give you the interest. I'm gonna give you a way to understand what's really going on in the world when it comes down to making money. If you want, if you're still listening to me, if you want, I'm gonna put my number down here. You can call me, my phone's right there. Give me a call. I'm about to put this up, but guess what? It's not gonna stay up for too long. A lot of my videos you see here, uh, people say, Carl, uh, there's really nobody doing what you're doing or have the track record and, and, and doing what you're doing. Because for me, okay, I want to help. That's my purpose of why I'm doing what I'm doing. This video's a little longer. Why? Because I'm, I want to talk to you guys, okay? Some of you text me, call me, or you heard me speak on the stage. You heard me in webinars. You, you want to know how was I able to do what I do? I'm going to tell you, the secret is I made a decision to do it. That's all. I believe it was possible. That's all. I took a chance. One thing my pastor told me, he says, Carl, uh, I had a restaurant. My wife called, so retired me. She bought a restaurant. My God, my, I went working seven days a week, got, getting four hours of sleep. I said, oh, my God. But guess what? Um, my wife did that because she believed that I can make things possible. The restaurant we, we bought was a failing restaurant. My friends, I got to tell you something. It was a failing restaurant, but we got in there. We didn't know anything about the restaurant business. I knew people business. My wife was a, well, she's a cook, man. Ah, that lady, man, when she cooks, woo. But doesn't matter how good your food is. You have to make sure service was great. And you have to make sure that you tailor to the people when they want something. You got to have what they want when they come into your restaurant. Well, so our business was kind of stable, and but I learned something. When you have a brick and mortar business, like a restaurant, everybody's in your pocket. Okay, if you mind, let me tell you the story behind it. You have taxes for the music. You got taxes for your equipment. Your, you got taxes for the rugs. You got taxes for uh, food. Taxes everywhere. Okay, everybody had their hands in our pocket. If you were making two to five thousand dollars a day, you know, because you still got PG and &E and water and all these things, right? You will fail. You will fail. So it was one month I remember I had to come up with an, something that can make sure we can pay our bills. And you gotta remember, we also had our own home, we had cars and those were bills too, right? So what I figured out, and I'm gonna give you a bonus here. If you wanna hear what I figured out, I'll make another video on, on how I was able to take us out of a, a nosedive and take us up like that. Okay, I, I, I will include that bonus in one of my videos here. So I'll make sure you guys pay attention to it because um, a lot of people don't know how to put themselves out of a nosedive because they got everything they're so busy, they got everything laid in, in their business. They don't make, make it. Why? Because they don't have capital or business management sense. It's always the reason why businesses fail because they have bad management, okay, and they don't have enough capital. That's why a lot of businesses fail. And you have to make sure that you have a way out, a back door, okay, just in case. Because if you don't have a back door, you're going like this, and guess what? That's it's creating this big giant hole, right? <laughs> and you're going to fall in that hole, and it can destroy. Uh, well, you know the word is bankrupt, bankrupt, bankrupt. Who wanted? I never thought bankrupt. Okay, but I understand business, and I understand what it takes. And I'm being very real. So, so the, to start this off, I'm going to talk about. Do you have what it takes to start your own business? You need to understand. You need to show that you have a business, like the business I'm talking about down here, it doesn't require all that overhead. It doesn't require all the things that most traditional brick and mortar business need to survive. Okay. But you can make more money than those brick and mortar business. The business I'm talking about right here, my friend, watch the video. I'm not going to say this is what you can do. You watch the video, you're going to understand what cap you're capable of doing, what you can make with this business, and you go for it. Okay? Just go for it. All right? 
So once again, this is Carl Douglas from Plunders Connection and Home Base Business Review. Uh, I would love to talk to him. Get my phones ringing. I would love to talk to you. Give some free advice, my friend. All right, so this is Carl saying I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.